Hey guys, TechGeekHD here again with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, my top compatible tweaks with the iOS 7. Now, as you guys may know, I recently jailbroke my iPhone 5C, uh, and I did make a tutorial on how to do this because the Untethered Jailbreak was just released by the Evaders team. And if you guys would like to watch that video, do click on uh, this little annotation somewhere on screen right now, and it will take you to that video so you guys can find out how to untether uh, and fully jailbreak your device on iOS 7, and this is compatible with all devices. Now anyway, back to the point of this video, today I'm going to be showing you my top tweaks which are compatible with iOS 7. Now as you may know, there are not too many tweaks which are compatible at the moment because mobile uh, substrate has not been updated to be working uh, with iOS 7 on the new devices. But, uh, but either way, there are some tweaks that are still working and some Cydia applications which are working. And so today I'm going to be showing you guys my top uh, couple of ones which are working. So without any further ado, let's get straight on into the video. Now the first one I'm going to be showing you guys is actually called iFile. Now iFile is a very popular file manager for iOS and I used to use it a lot when I was jailbroken on my older devices uh, and this is actually working. Now it does have one bug with it which uh, even though I bought this application a long time ago uh, is that it does not register the device uh, does not register it for some reason which is pretty annoying uh, because as you guys can see you will keep getting this error message here that says registration failed but otherwise you can actually go through and do pretty much all um, the functions that it does allow you to so it is a pretty good file manager manager uh, and overall I would still recommend downloading it because I know I have had trouble uh with an application called My3G, which is, uh, I'm not being able to uninstall it, so I'm actually going to have to restore my phone and then re-jailbreak uh, just to uninstall it. But I think there is a way with the iFile, I'm just not being able to do it on my device because I'm running an iPhone 5C, but if you're on an iPhone 5, I think it should work fine. So as you guys can see here, when I try to search, it says uh, I can't do that because I'm not registered, even though I actually did purchase this. So if you guys would like, you can just download it for free uh, and just use it um, without the, all the registration pro features but anyway guys that was iFile all right guys so the next week I'm gonna be showing you guys is called uh, 3g on restrictor uh, now this is actually a pretty cool application which allows you to uh, unrestrict the use of 3g in certain applications now I think this used to be very popular when FaceTime for example was not supported on 3g because it actually allowed you to unrestrict the use uh, but there are still a couple of uh, applications that don't allow the use on 3g such as TV streaming applications uh, and this is a pretty nice application which allows you to unrestrict the use of 3g on those applications or Edge or LTE, whatever mobile cellular network that you're using. So basically what you would do is hit edit and then add, uh, and then you can actually choose the application. Now one thing which I would recommend doing, uh, and I actually do use this, is unrestrict the use of 3G for the YouTube application because then it will continue to play uh, videos in HD even on cellular networks, uh, which is a big problem for me because I hate that YouTube videos don't play in HD when I'm on a cellular network, uh, but if you enable this and it is also going to play on uh, uh, a cellular network because it's gonna trick it into thinking that it's on Wi-Fi. But anyway guys, that was uh, 3G on Restrictor. Alright guys, so the next week I'm gonna be showing you guys is called MX Tube. Now I used to use this all the time when I was jailbroken on my older devices, but what MX Tube allows you to do is download YouTube videos for free in a variety of formats and actually save them and watch them on your device. Now once you open it up, you can search for a YouTube video. For example, I'm gonna search for Tech Geek HD and just type it in uh, and I'm just gonna wait for it to load uh, and there are a number of videos which have uh titles related to Tech Geek HD. Now this is one that I made a little while ago and just for the purpose of this video I'm gonna be downloading it in low quality uh, to be able to download it quicker for you guys uh, but you can actually download it in high and on uh, high definition and when you close it as you guys can see it's gonna download and as soon as it's done it's gonna be able to play and it's saved on your device now, I'm gonna play this and of course I'm not gonna be called for copyright because uh, this is my video but as you guys can see this is the low quality but the high definition player also does work and it is really really nice I would definitely recommend this application because I know I loved using it and I do currently love using it and I would definitely recommend this to you and it is called MX Tube. Well, anyway, guys, that is my collection of my top tweaks that are compatible and working with iOS 7 at the moment. Now, of course, there is my 3G, which I would definitely recommend that you guys do not download because you will not be able to remove it from your device. Now, what I'm actually having to do is restore my device and then re jailbreak, and this is a real, real pain uh, in the you know where. So, I would definitely try to stay away from my 3G. Now, anyway, guys, that does about conclude this video. If you enjoyed it and if it helped you out, it'd be really awesome if you guys could leave it a 
like rating by hitting the little thumbs up button in the bottom left hand corner of this video. And for more videos like these as well as other unboxings, reviews, tutorials, uh, more jailbreak videos and much much more, please do remember to subscribe because it really does help the channel out and will keep you up to date with all my latest HD content. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and as always, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.